My name is Marlene Azar. I am a master's student in epidemiology at McGill University. Showing more spine to me means uh, being very firm and making people aware of the harms of over-treatment and over-diagnosis. In the work we do, we look at um, cutoffs for depression screening and how this can influence um, depression diagnosis. I think that there is definitely a lot of um, harm that can result from um, widening disease definitions, such as um, increasing the number of people who are labeled as having the disease. It can not only have like economical consequences, but can also have consequences on the person because they're being labeled as having a disease and they might also undergo unnecessary treatments. Um, and these treatments could be used for people who actually have the disease. Every time they feel something or they're sick, they'll go see a physician right away. They'll prescribe them something and then they think that um, the results, so if they've improved or not improved, is completely dependent on whatever was prescribed to them or what they, the steps that they've taken with their physicians to take care of that. When you um, diagnose someone, you're trying to find prevalence, uh, or when you're trying to diagnose someone, people go through a screening process instead of directly diagnosing someone with the disease because it's just more efficient that way. And we're looking at um, the optimal cutoffs to, in order to get the highest probability of people who actually have depression from these screening tools.